G'day folks, welcome back to Easy Trail. I'm Camping Cam, and today I'm gonna to give you some helpful tips on how to set up your TN230 camper trailer tent, starting with the poles. There's half a dozen of them, let's go through them now. First one is this little baby. Goes to the back of the bed, it's got a C-clip, it's a corner stay, it's adjustable, and I'll be showing you that shortly when I jump up onto the mattress. It's two of those. Next up, we've got this little beauty. It's like a platypus, really, both ends. This is the ridge pole. It's adjustable, it is a ridge pole. Look at that. Next one, two C-clips, either end, adjustable. It is a spreader bar. Very important to keep all the roof stable and your awning, of course. Our next pole is a tent pole, very familiar. It's what we call in the Easy Trail Biz, number 10. It's the smaller of the uprights, there's three of them in your pack, and it's adjustable, and it's for your awning. That's how it looks. And one of these, next one coming up is number 11. It's longer and it's for the centre of your awning. And it's totally adjustable. That is a longer pole, it's a bigger pole. Just one of those in your kit. And for when you put the windows out on a beautiful sunny day like it is for me today, you're gonna use these. This is for your window. It's fixed, there's no adjustment needed, straight out for your window. So come and join me inside the TN230 as we put it all together. So once you've opened up the tent and pushed it off the trailer, the first thing we do is work over the bed. That's your starting point. Inside, we have four bows. One over the back of the bed, one on the top of the bed, and two over our living room, if you like. And we start with the corner stay, going to the corners of the far bow. Let's have a look. Two of these, one on either side. Up into the corner and then straight down, adjusting it like that. One of those there, and another one over the other side. Next up is the spreader bar with its two C-clips, either end, totally adjustable, and they're gonna firm up your roof. So here we go. Clips in to the far bow, and connects to the next bow. And then we spread it a little bit, and that's gonna firm up the roof. We've got two of those over your bed. Then we're gonna to move to the living room. Once you've got your corner stays in place and your spreader bars all set up over your bed, you can then work on the rest of your tent with these little beauties again, the spreader bars. So here we go. We put one up there. This is to firm up your roof. And then another one, pretty close to the other one there, between the next two bows. Spread it out and tighten it up. It's that easy. And we just keep working to the next section. Now we're coming down the home straight with these final two spreader bars. Not only will they firm up the roof, but they're going to hold the final bow in place. It's really, really vital you get these two right. So have a look at this. We're gonna push back on the bow, put your spreader bar in, clip it in, up to the other bow, joining it up, and then really spread it so that we hold the structure of the whole tent, just like this. And we've got two of those, and you're on song. Okay, I'm back outside our TN230, and I'm going to now explain how to set up the framework of your awning, and introduce you to the final pole, which I didn't mention earlier. It is a ridge pole, it has a hook spigot on one end, there it is, very important, and the flat end. There's four of these, and they're going to go into the top of your tent. You'll see the eye there. There's also a hole on the inside of that tent and the bow. Once you've found the hole inside through that eye, once you've located it, just drop them down to the ground so they stay in place for now. Now you do that, repeat the process on the ends, and of course the two in the middle. So it's one, two, three, four. These are ridge poles. So once you've set up all four ridge poles, you grab your first upright, which is a number 10, and head over to the corner. Coming over with your first ridge pole, and number 10, you join them up with the flat end of this ridge. Pushing down, away you go. That's the first bit. Second bit, grab another spreader. Here's your spreader, flat to flat, remember that one? And then straight together. Now. This is the highest part of your TN230, so we use the number 11. There's only one of these uprights and it's adjustable. 
There's your spreader. Onto your number 11 and your second ridge pole to join it. it. Might be a little bit long this one, so we adjust it. Push it in, bring it back so it's parallel with the front of your tent. And we're going to tighten that up with the T bolts later on. Keep working your way through. So, this is how the completed frame for your awning looks. You have your ridges, you have your uprights, and your spreaders. And it can be done on your own, but I suggest many hands make light work, get the kids to hold a pile each and you'll be done in no time. When you've purchased a new TN230, your awning, your canvas, will not be attached. You connect it with the Velcro strip along the top as well as an extra bolstered zip. Once you've done that, you can just leave it on the top of your tent when you're packing up, just swap it over the back. And then of course, bring it over to the top. So we're now going to show you how to do that. So how good does this freestanding awning with the canvas over it look? Fantastic. It's nice and firm. And it firms up even more with the six C-clip spreader poles that we give you as well, which go between the ridge bars. So two per section and just keep repeating the process. And then you're ready for your cuppa and sitting out in the sun having fun. And finally, unlike a tent, the last thing you do with a camper trailer is you peg it all out. So get inside, straighten out the base, peg it out and away you go ready for the great outdoors. I'll see you next time. Thanks to Easy Trail.